When single shines the triple sun, what was sundered and undone shall be whole, the two made one, by gelfling hand or else by none. By gelfling hand? Do you know what that means, Kira? Wait. This is a piece of the dark crystal. Then that's what my master meant. Yes. Peace, peace, y'all. Uh... A little now moment literacy. <clears throat> We're connecting with crystals. Because I feel like, you know, these are the things that are important to know. I feel like if you are unaware, again, like with crystals, crystals don't automatically mean everything is all good just because you're working with a crystal. You know what I'm saying? They are tools. And if you're using a saw to try to hammer a nail, you know what I'm saying? you know <clears throat> it's going to be very tough to get the job done and in that analogy you know using certain crystals in certain situations could be just like that like if you're unaware of what the crystal is being used to do you know what the crystal helps with if you're unaware you know uh it could you know basically throw off the healing process and let's just say for instance you know dealing with a malachite uh, Malachite or epidote that deals with emotional catharsis or basically basically like emotional purging. You know what I'm saying? If you're working with Malachite and then your emotions start to come up and you, you know, you're, you're wondering like, what's going on? What's going on? You know, then in that moment, you know, you'll, <clears throat> you'll, you'll go to questioning yourself, you know, and, and creating confusion, unnecessary confusion. In the sense of like, you wouldn't be confused if you would remember or really know that, hey, this Malachite I'm working with is going to purge my emotions. So when I do feel my emotions being purged, nothing is wrong. Nothing is attacking me. It's the Malachite I'm working with. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that type of awareness is key and, you know, something that I feel, uh, you know, needs to come up because I realize sometimes the intensity of certain crystals like was causing me to like give up on, on, on working on certain situations you know uh, speaking on most black obsidian type of crystals you know what I'm saying it's like you know that shadow aspect coming up so much say for instance in a moment when you're real fatigue and you need to rest but then you're still working with a crystal that basically putting you in overwhelming situations you know that that's not, you know, a healthy mix, although the crystal does help. It's, you know, uh, you know, how you work with it and when you work with it, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, being aware of that. But again, like with the past life crystals, you know, uh, and some crystals dealing with past life work, it'll bring up your past life to play out in your day to day you know experiences in this dimension in this lifetime you know and why you're in this physical body suit right here you know and it could cause it to you know that past life energy to come up so strongly you know where you could almost feel like you're putting yourself in a in a loop in essence you know what i'm saying like where again like it's so intense you know and you're not catching it you're not realizing like all right this crystal is trying to show me something in connection with my past life you know because again you go to work and you, you got a project you're trying to work on so you know like hey I, I got a business project I gotta work on you know I need to be ten toes down in that you know what I'm saying and strictly focused on that you know then you got to be aware of again like what type of crystal you're working with in that situation and it's not that it's gonna like just completely sabotage what you have going on it's just again like having that awareness that you know what it, whatever goes on you know it's gonna be in connection with some past life energy so to just be aware of that you know so just having that awareness so you know just that little tidbit you know have awareness of the details of the crystals you're working with you know, and, and knowing when the best moment to, you know, uh, implement the different crystals, you know. And, and always remember to t stay tapped into the imagination, you know, uh, we're working with the crystals. 
you know, especially when you got like little, you know, like little crystal pendants and pieces, you know what I'm saying? You could talk to the crystal, especially if it's more than one, like, hey, shoot your light, you're going to again like the analogy of rose quartz and black obsidian like hey black obsidian you're gonna bring up the shadow rose quartz you're gonna help for me to love that that neglected our uh you know unaccepted part of myself you know what i'm saying so it like works in tandem but you know you could have uh like two crystal points you know one point down one point up and like hey hey uh, snowflake obsidian i want you to you know bring down the energies through the bottom of my feet, you know, every time such and such happen, you know what I'm saying? Like it is, you know, it's all on how, how imaginative you could get, you know, you go to basics, you know, first you learn the basics, of course, but then once you learn the basics of like, you know, working with crystals, how to take care of them, you know, what's the purpose of grids and working with grids, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and again, just that full scope, you know, understanding the crystal structures, what the elements do, you know, just, you know, getting that, 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 that first layer of uh, information. And then, you know, with the application aspect, you could be, you know, again, then use your imagination, you know, being aware of your body and your crystals where you know your energy channels, like I know my my lungs connected to the Gemini energy, let's say. So, you know, I know whatever crystal I work with, you know what I'm saying, in connection with that to make it be connected to the Gemini energy, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, and, and you could make a, a visualization exercise based off of that using your own imagination is what I'm saying, you know. And again, though, all you have to know is the, the basics of the crystals and, you know, and dealing with your own body and your, your chakras. You know, it's just, you know, again, the energy of your being in the crystals, you know, having more awareness of how that operates on a quote unquote spiritual level. But yeah, just definitely having that awareness when tapping in with the crystals, you know what I'm saying? So, y'all know what it is. Now it's a vibrate. Not too far in the future, not too far in the past, right now. Peace.